Hi Baileys! I hope everyone's doing super awesome. I know I am. Today, we are going to be making our own printing plates, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to find a piece of cardboard, like I did, okay? This is a Kleenex box, you can see the back, and this is just a regular box. Or if you don't have cardboard and you have a thicker paper, you can, have, you can use that too, okay? So we are going to be drawing our designs and then going over them with glue, okay? Now what that's going to do, right, is it's going to make your design more raised on the cardboard because we put glue over it. So it'll be a little bumpy. Now, what we're going to do after that is take a piece of paper and we're going to color over it like this, okay? So, and then you guys can see, right, you guys see the heart and the wavy lines that I made, okay? So we'll make our printing plate, and then we'll make a rubbing of our printing plate, okay? I have a video and I have photographs of stuff to show you how to do this. I'll see you guys on the other side of this video. All right guys, so you saw me making my own printing plate and then you saw me make a couple rubbings, right? So you, I would recommend making a couple, right? Because if we look at the flower one and we look at the rubbing that I made of it, if I can find it, it just didn't turn out the way that I wanted. But I was happy that I made a couple extra. This one's my favorite. So that way one of them turned out really awesome. So if you wanna make a couple, you can go ahead and make a couple. Just a couple of tips. You may have to wait a day to try and rub this, right? Because when we when we have a, a lot of glue like this, sometimes it takes a long time to dry. So I would say that focus on making your printing plate one day and then playing and rubbing, using your rubbing the next day, okay? This way we, we don't end up with paper stuck to our plate and we ruin it. So it's better for us to wait so that way everything turns out awesome. And you know what, if you are like Miss Fuller, I don't have any glue, I can't do that, I can't make my own design, you're wrong, right? Because what did I use? I, I also used a leaf. So you can also go out and you can find things in nature as long as you can kind of feel a bump because you guys can see the raised lines of the, of the veins on the leaf. So if you, can, if you don't have any, any glue and you guys, that's okay. You can go outside and find something and make a pattern and then rub it with the crayon, okay? Um, and the, the last bit of advice that I do want to give you guys about when we're going to actually start on our rubbings is that you kind of want to hold your, you don't want to hold your crayon like this downwards, okay? You, we want to get, we want to try and use as much of the, the pointy side as we can. So it's better for us when we're rubbing here to sort of hold it down and sort of at an angle so that you're getting as much of that crayon as you possibly can. I don't know if that helps you guys to see, but 
So those are my fun tips. As always, I definitely want to see your work. I hope everyone has an awesome weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.